Which gaming case, bag, or pack is the best to protect your cards? Besides just ease and convenience, you want protection from a gaming case. Today I'll examine three of the most likely choices. Ultra Pro, Dragon's Egg, offered by Power9, and the Remove from Game Gaming Pack. Let's start with the gaming case most likely to be found at your local game store, Ultra Pros. The Ultra Pro case is large, so much so that you couldn't reasonably put it on the table within your game space as you play. It has an adjustable strap for carrying the case on your shoulder, and the outer shell is a thin nylon with two zippers that have a tendency to catch. The interior is cardboard. This really shocked me when I first got mine. Huh? Six compartments of normal, average quality cardboard. So let's be honest here. It's a cardboard box of average cardboard quality sealed in a very thin nylon carrying case. What exactly are you getting here? Cardboard is, naturally, going to bend and rip. Heaven help you if you ever get it wet. Average cost is $20. The six compartments hold most sizes of deck box, certainly just about everything Ultra Pro makes. None of the compartments hold anything snugly. They've been made slightly large in order to have a more universal fit. This means that your boxes rattle and bounce around inside, and thus your cards within your boxes will as well. The faux leather mana flip boxes fit, as do the Pro Duels. However, my favorite box Ultra Pro makes, the Satin Tower, does not. Everything else seems to fit, but you're pretty much only holding about six to seven deck boxes. There's extra pockets on the flap that can hold, well, not counters or dice, but papers you might be carrying. There's also a dozen pockets for holding individual cards. I would never trust even my tokens in here. The flap is too soft and easily bent. The cardboard box can be removed, and here's what it looks like. Again, it's just a box, a cardboard box. I don't feel this offers any serious protection, and cannot possibly be providing enduring or long-lasting quality. Taking out the box, you can actually get more use out of the thin nylon outer shell. It'll hold a lot more of your deck boxes this way, but at this point, aren't you just using it as a bag? Is there a significant difference between this and a backpack? Actually, I think I'd rather have the backpack. Pros. The Ultra Pro case is affordable. Large compartments can hold most deck boxes, including ones not made by Ultra Pro. But the cons are numerous, the biggest one being that the interior is cardboard. It can't hold dice or counters. It's large and cumbersome. The zippers tend to catch. The nylon shell is thin and isn't going to offer much in the way of protection. Grade D. I would never recommend this. The Dragon's Egg by Power 9 is a little more expensive than the Ultra Pro case. Does that extra cost equal extra value? Let's take a look. As opposed to the thin nylon of the Ultra Pro case, the Dragon's Egg is made of a very thick, durable fabric. It has a quality mesh net around it and two deep, Velcro sealing pockets on each side. These pockets hold an amazing amount of dice, counters, or whatever else you take with you for gaming. They don't fall out either. Really thick strips of Velcro hold it all in, tight. I'm so impressed with the quality of this material. This case is solid. Every aspect of it feels perfectly crafted, and Power9 stands by their work by offering a lifetime warranty. No cardboard interior here. This is solid, sturdy plastic which protects your cards. The interior holds up to four 75-card decks, plus a little extra room for tokens. The exterior is water-resistant, durable. The inside shell is incredibly sturdy, with extra padding between the two. Going on a flight and taking some decks with you, your carry-on still might get shoved in an overhead compartment, 
or trampled on accidentally. The dragon's egg will actually protect your cards from harm. I couldn't break this if I tried. I also love how compact the case is. This can definitely sit on your tabletop if you've got just a little extra room around you, something the Ultra Pro case never could do. Every inch of this is quality, from the rugged rubber spikes on the bottom to prevent sliding, to the surprisingly roomy top compartment, which can hold just about anything else you need, from your cell phone to a deck box. The interior shell is removable, and this opens up the possibility for just putting deck boxes directly in. These are the Legion Iconic deck boxes. Each one can hold up to a commander deck, and four fit comfortably inside. Obviously, you lose the protection of the inner plastic shell, but this might still appeal to some players. Also, one of those deck boxes fits comfortably in the top compartment, so technically this can hold up to five commander decks, with the inside shell removed. The Dragon's Egg also comes with an adjustable shoulder strap, and for a few dollars more you can add on a side kit that will strap around your playmat tube. Remember, Besides just ease and convenience, you want protection from a gaming case. The Dragon's Egg is the only case I've seen that truly offers that protection. This is not just a bag to transport decks in. This is true protection, and that lifetime warranty helps emphasize the unique quality being offered here. At a price of just over $30, you can't help but compare this to the $20 Ultra Pro case. That extra ten or so dollars gets you so much more. Grade? A solid A. This is the best gaming case on the market for Magic the Gathering and other similarly sized cards. I cannot recommend it enough. Remove from Game offers a gaming pack, usually sold in a bundle with their sleeves and a playmat. Not quite a full-sized backpack, the RFG pack has a smaller compartment and a main compartment for holding your deck boxes and supplies. Basic nylon and zippers, the major selling points are the smaller, compact size, and the price, which is typically less than even Ultra Pro, although distribution does vary. I've mostly seen these offered with sleeves and a mat, which makes for a nice kit, possibly for a newer player. Gift idea, anyone? holds a fairly large amount of deck boxes. One can't help but draw the comparison with a regular backpack and ask what advantages the RFG pack holds. Besides a convenient mesh side pouch for your playmat, I can't see wanting this over a thicker, full-on backpack, but I definitely say that I would prefer this over the Ultra Pro case. At least with the RFG pack, I can hang it on the back of my chair and access the contents a lot easier than the Ultra Pro case. I can even hang it on a hook or a peg on a wall. I've actually often relied on a standard quality backpack for a lot of my Magic the Gathering transport needs, which I'd rate that at a B if you find the right backpack. So on that scale, the RFG gaming pack is going to be a C minus. It's a pack, but nothing too special. But it does beat out Ultra Pro's cardboard calamity, which I'd never endorse or even use. At least the RFG pack is light and convenient for a casual player on the go. Final Grades Dragon's Egg A. The best gaming case on the market for Magic players. I am amazed by the quality, convenience, and protection offered by this fabulous product. The RFG gaming pack? C-. I'd take this over an Ultra Pro case, but not over a regular backpack. Low price and the fact this is often bundled with sleeves and a mat helps it out as a fun, casual accessory for some players. The Ultra Pro Gaming Case, D. It's a cardboard box for $20. Save up another 10 and get a dragon's egg. I hope you have found this review helpful. Be sure to subscribe as more reviews are on the way. Suggestions are always welcome and be sure to check out our other videos. Remember, support your magic community. If you can, spend your money where you actually sit down and play.